Hey guys, so I'm looking at this like, are you kidding me? Are you really kidding me? Because, Jacqueline, Jacqueline, you know you done messed up. You know, I don't care what anyone says. I really tried to go and be more so like Ziggy and Dolores. But Jacqueline, she decided she's going to let whatever uh, issue she currently has going on in her life and all of that. She's clearly taking that all out on everyone, especially Teresa. She's stuck in this whole mentality of... Teresa's my friend. Teresa's my friend. She can't be friends with this person. She can't really be friends with that person. For a couple of years, you guys really weren't talking. You really weren't close. So who's to say that these new people aren't really Teresa's friends? This is my recap for Real Housewives of New Jersey, Season 7, Episode 12. The episode's entitled The Other C Word, as in criminal. But the episode starts off. Please like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe as you actually pronounce it, but right now everyone's just trying to figure out how they can go and collect themselves, and because it's a mess, it's a mess, I'm not going to do a regular recap because it was all over the place, the whole thing is that I definitely respect the men because, and, and when I say that, I mean I respect the men for letting the women go and say what they need to say towards each other and not jump in. Because, as we've seen on other shows, that usually blows up in everyone's face. Sometimes you have to let people just go and vent and say what they need to say so that at least everyone's on the same page, whether it's positive or negative. Um, Jacqueline's crying because, and of course, Z Ziggy and Dolores are consoling her because they feel like Jacqueline... Um, it's like, we understand Jacqueline's Teresa's real friend. Jacqueline does not like the fact that Robin threatened her and all that. Melissa decides she's going to go over there and tell Teresa to ask her friends to leave. And I'm looking at Melissa like, this makes no sense. This makes sense in general as far as keeping some form of the peace. But part of the issue, yeah, could technically be Robin. Not necessarily Christina because she didn't say anything. But Robin and how she interacts with Jacqueline. We get that. But you still have to remove Jacqueline as well. Because Jacqueline right now has a chip on her shoulder. But I get it. Melissa's trying to go and do right by her friend. I'm glad that Teresa was like, wait a minute. Jacqueline sat on Robin's butt. And basically gave Robin... Uh, Jacqueline basically gave Robin her butt to go and do whatever she wanted with. She's like, rage on my butt? Okay, go for it. So when... They're having this conversation, that's when Robin and Christina decide, you know what, we're just going to go and leave. We're not going to cause actual problems or situations because we want our friend Teresa to have success, love, happiness. And if that means we have to leave her here so that she can go and have a good time with her relatives, then that's fine. And I respect them so much for doing that. They No one even had to tell them that. They overheard the conversation and decided they're just going to go. They want Teresa this trip was supposed to be about Teresa so they kept it as being about Teresa and I appreciate them doing that I definitely respect them so much so now everyone's at the bar minus Robin and uh, Christina and of course a comment was made that you know there's two empty chairs and they left and the conversation goes left very quickly why because Jacqueline uh, feels like she was attacked and my thought process Regarding Jacqueline feeling like she's been attacked is this. Why do you think that you were attacked? Why? People said what they wanted to say. You always say what you want to say. So when other people try to do the same, then it becomes an issue. Because that's what it's starting to feel like. It's starting to feel like you are okay with, you know, qu uh, having qualms with Therese every once in a while. But as long as you two get to go and spend quality time together... That's all that matters. I'm looking at you like you're a grown woman. You're a grown woman. You have children. You have a husband. You're successful. You shouldn't be this concerned about someone else that isn't a part of your immediate family. Especially Teresa, whose mentality is like, you know what, aside from my family, whoever else is good to me, I'm good to them. It is what it is. Teresa isn't trying to give you 110%. She doesn't owe you 110%. She never promised you 110%. So then you want to go and call Teresa a criminal and how, oh, uh, you, you, what is it? You turning tables, what was it? Not turning tables. You flipping tables B and um, 
you going and pushing the grown man and doing all this stuff and of course they're showing the montages of when Teresa was doing all this stuff and of the main issue was that Jacqueline felt a certain way because Melissa wasn't speaking up in regards to the whole Jacqueline informing Melissa that there's rumors about uh, you being called a stripper. Jacqueline was the first one to let it be known and Melissa didn't a answer quickly. You want to know why? One, because Jacqueline came out of left field with us. It's like, wait a minute, what's going on? Two, I'm sure Melissa didn't want to have to go and you know, recan to the past, because Teresa isn't about that. Teresa is about, you know what, you're good with me, I'm good with you, let's move forward. Jacqueline's about, I want to square up everything that's ever happened, put it all on the table, and discuss it, section by section. So because of that, she wants to go and consistently bring up the past. By doing so, all she's doing is drudging up drama and feelings that were supposed to be buried and done with, that clearly aren't, so now, we run to the situation of, damn it, man. Really. And I felt bad for Melissa because Jacqueline, of course, Jacqueline going and doing her usual Jacqueline stuff. So it's like, you're fake, you're phony, you want to go and say nothing because you're in front of your sister-in-law? Right, of course not, because she's finally good with her sister-in-law. So why do you want to incite something? You actually think that she's going to go and treat your side over her sister-in-law, over her actual family? Oh, because you're friends with her, oh, because you're good to her. That doesn't mean anything. She hasn't done anything bad to you, so why are you so upset? Why are you really so upset? <sighs> that was the part that just got to me and trying to say, well, you know, we go to the same doctor, you and your four nose jobs. That's what she's telling to Melissa. I'm thinking, you're friends with someone, and you go and you're saying all this stuff, and you really think that you're calling Teresa a criminal. You're saying, oh, there's the old Teresa. Come on, square up, square up. I'm thinking, yeah, right. That's the old Teresa, she's coming back because she's being attacked. At this point, she's being attacked and she hasn't done anything to you. She's trying to actually make peace. But you don't want that. You don't want that. So what you want instead is you want to go and incite drama and try incite mess. Poor Siggy trying to go and fix everything. But Siggy needs to understand. Here's the thing. Your friend was wrong, as in Jacqueline. You have to accept the fact that your friend was wrong. Dolores isn't saying anything because she knows how Jacqueline acted. Um, it was below the belt. It was going too far. It was doing too much. So she just stayed quiet and let the pieces fall as they may. Poor Siggy. She's not used to this. You can tell. Siggy looks like she's been through it. And we see Joe. He's at home with the kids. And of course, Melania is the closest to Joe. So um, as far as personality... So it's funny how they constantly butt heads in a cute, you know, loving father-daughter way. Um, Adri Adri Adriana, I believe Adriana's daddy's little girl. I believe she's the youngest. Gia is just like, look, it'll be good when you go. You're going to get skinny. Everything's going to be great. All the kids are like, it, it, he's going to look skinny. He looks pregnant. He looks like a pregnant woman. <laughs> and he's always looked like a pregnant woman. They're so bad. They're so, 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 so bad. They're so bad. Look, but I, it was just a lot. It was just a lot. They had the cute bonding moment. Ziggy is talking to Dolores and Ziggy's done. She's over it. She wants to go and leave. This is Ziggy's, Ziggy's time to actually vent. Ziggy is just thinking, you know what? I'm not used to this. I'm used to being able to fix things. I'm not used to people who act this type of way. They're acting like animals. Yes, they are. They are. But you really didn't know what you signed up for. You thought you because you were friends with them that you were going to be able to go and um, have a different interaction with them than other people. Uh, that's funny. That's very funny because I could have told you that that wasn't going to be the case. I could have told you, and if I was friends with you or there, I would have told you that that wasn't the case with these ladies. They do whatever they want. They do whatever they want. And Jacqueline's just like, yeah, so I'm definitely going to go. Siggy's just like, it shouldn't be this way. Uh, Melissa's trying to figure out why is Jacqueline acting so left. I'm thinking, this woman's your friend, so you know how she is. Now, I'm sure you've never seen her like this before, but you need to understand. And I do feel bad for her because she genuinely cares, but the main issue is this. The main issue is this. Now it's next day, Teresa and Melissa, they're as happy as can be. They're just like, whatever happened yesterday, that was yesterday, today's a new day. 
<laughs> Dolores does not feel that way along with Siggy. Siggy goes in front and vents her frustration. She's like, no, I cannot do this. I have to leave. I have to leave right now. And they were initially listening uh, listening to Siggy because they were like, I want to have a good time on the party. And Teresa deserves that. She's back home. She did what she needed to do. Now she's supposed to be celebrating with the people she loves the most. And it's going to hell in a handbasket. Melissa just looks like she has a, no cares in the world. Siggy's throwing fruits. It's like, this is a mess. This is a mess. And then that's when Dolores was just like, look, I've had enough. We are going. We are going. This dysfunction? No, th no, no. This is no. no I cannot do. And <laughs> Teresa realized, oh, this is actually serious. This isn't just them overreacting. Okay, I understand. They need to go and do what they need to do. And Dolores also made a little slick comment about. She was like, Teresa is dressed like Melania, <laughs> and and <laughs> Melissa. It's just like she's going to Studio 54. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Jacqueline, you know, Chris is consoling his wife. And was like, well, you know, you're in the right. And no one can really understand you and your feelings and your emotions. I'm thinking, you're a good husband. You are a good husband. We'll leave it at that. Kathy. <laughs> Kathy is just over it because she's like, dang, I thought everyone could be good. This is not what I wanted. But Melissa and Teresa have a great time. They go in those, um, you know when people go, not snowboarding, like snowboarding or uh, skiing, and they take those, it's not a trolley. It's one of those things, whatever it's called, it's in the air. And uh, they had a bonding moment because it's just like, I really appreciate the fact that we got to this point where... Uh, we could just be good. Our families are blended. I feel like you have my back. I definitely have your back. Uh, this is just amazing. I wasn't sure if this was ever going to happen. So I appreciate the fact that they had such a great bonding moment. And they are uh, with each other and supporting each other and loving each other. So that was that. But the drama's coming back. Real Housewives of Atlanta will be coming back. That looks, uh, Married to Medicine. I haven't seen the trailer. But I'm sure that's going to be better. <laughs> Please like, comment, subscribe. And let me know what you think. Start choosing sides. Your friends can be wrong, people.